Oh, here we go. Back at it and thirsty for more. Lunch with bombs in the house. Why be fit? That's the topic today. Hope you all recovered from yesterday. Super Bowl. Who'd you have? Eagles or Patriots? If you're watching live, drop a one. If you're watching the replay, drop a two. If you're a first timer, drop a three. Who's this crazy guy? Lunch with bomb anyway. Uh, love to connect with you. Let's see. Well, uh, my name is Frank Baumholtz. Been a high school strength coach and PE teacher for 21 years. Lunch bell. See, I started doing these uh, a while back. You know, uh, if I could just make a connection with one person a day, or even one person a week, or even one person a year, you know, it made it uh, made it worthwhile. So I started doing these lunch with bombs. Just uh, you know, as a teacher, an educator, and a coach, I'm always constantly learning. You know, always constantly motivating. Uh, we just starting our new semester today, day one. It's fitting that it's a Monday. Uh, I always say, you know, you don't need a new year. You don't need a, a new time. All you need is a Monday. And you can get started anytime. So, anyway, topic of the day is uh, why be fit? One, because it feels good, okay? But uh, uh, who'd you have yesterday? Do you have the Patriots or you have the Eagles? Were you excited that the Eagles won or disappointed that the, the Patriots lost? Drop it down below. What do you got? You know, here's some crazy stats. I, I shared this yesterday. Hey, if you were trying to follow on Instagram, uh, iPad uh, went haywire on me. So no Insta Live today, just uh, Facebook rolling. Anyway, here's some crazy ones that I, I, I ran into yesterday as I made a post. And I said, don't lose your head uh, as you're going into the Super Bowl because... Most folks that uh, sat down, ate, double, some even triple their total daily caloric intake just at one sitting because they were just shoving their face throughout the whole game. But there were, there were over 12 tons of nachos sold, 28 million pounds of potato chips, 70 million pounds of avocados, 40, 49 million gallons of beer. And then you can imagine what the toilet usage was like. That uh, went through the roof too. And people that were popping in acids and tums like Tic Tacs, uh, you know, that was up like 25%. So that was the crazy thing. But um, anyway, you know, all in all, it was a good game. So whoever you had, whatever the uh, pony you had in the race, um, you know, it was still a good game. A couple of things. Uh, just some announcements once again from MVP. If you've been under a rock, uh, if you've got a baseball or softballer that are looking for instruction or lessons, uh, we've got things, cage times, ish, instruction. Uh, ch jump over to our my MVP page and see what we got going on there because we've got weekly uh, hitting lessons. We've got our Saturday morning catching uh, session. Things are just uh, filling up. So uh, if you got somebody, you want to jump on that, okay? And then uh, also our adult training. If you're looking for a jump start in your day, uh, you know, with a new workout routine, uh, give me a call, okay? But anyway, topic of the day is why be fit? You know, here we are. We are in uh, February, right? And most folks by this week, here's the sixth week of the year, sixth week of the year, people are like done, shut it down. They got no chance, right? So 42 days in, 42 days in, and folks have given up. Why, though? You know, why, why be fit? You know, people always make excuses about why, you know, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it next week, next week turns into never, right? So, you know, why do it? One, because it feels good. It feels good to be fit and do, you know, you be able to, you can go do whatever you want to do. I can't count how many times people, you know, they talk to me. I've, I've shared it before, you know, their, their ankles hurt, their knees hurt. Well, maybe if they lost a little bit of weight, you know, they'd feel a lot better. Um, you know, I see people dealing with allergies even in the wintertime, you know, with the mold and the, even the trees are changing. Shoot, I was just noticing the other day, uh, some of the pine or fir trees are dropping their paw. It's crazy already, you know, and people suffer. You know, I used to have some, you know, allergies that I struggled with, you know, and everything comes back to nutrition. Everything comes back to nutrition. But, you know, number one, why be fit? Because it feels good. The, the crazy thing, here we had, a, we had orientation today with our, our new students. Okay, so classes are changing over. And one of the, the biggest things that uh, I noticed with my high school students and athletes is so many of them are afraid to work hard. They're afraid to make their buddies or their girlfriend or whoever they're around uncomfortable. All right, so I actually had everybody stand up. All right, everybody stand up. I want you to put your hands up in the air and get as big as you can in the room, right? And 
the crazy thing, and I said, huh? and then they sat down. I said, how many of you actually, that made, how many of you did that make feel uncomfortable? A lot of them was like, I felt uncomfortable. Yeah, but what happened to the environment of the room? The environment of the room changed. The energy got up, the heat rose, right? So many people are afraid to go outside of their comfort zone and change the environment that they're in and, and work hard. The thing is, if you wanna be fit, 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 being fit feels great, but you gotta work for it. You, you, gotta, you gotta go outside and actually do the work, right? You gotta do the work. You can't buy it, you can't borrow it, all right? You can't steal it from somebody else. You have to go do it. You want, do you, it's like, I want the pot of gold, but I don't wanna work for it. Just doesn't work, you know? Here's the other thing too is, is when you get it, all right, you can hold on to it, but you can't hold on to it very long without losing it if you don't do something about it. You've got to actually put the work in every single day. It's like rent. Rent's due. Rent's due every month. Although being fit, being fits the rent's due every single day. You got to go in and actually put the work in. If you want to, I want you to feel. I always tell folks, I want you to feel how good healthy feels, because once you feel it. It's like you end up on that continuum. You end up on the continuum of resistant on one hand and on one hand and obsessed on the other hand. And I wouldn't say that I'm I'm completely obsessed with uh, being fit, but pretty dang close, you know. But you know, I always tell folks do it do it ninety percent of the time. If you do it ninety percent of the time, then the other ten percent is just ten percent. So many people woke up this morning and they were mentally crushed because how bad they felt because what did i say 12 tons of nachos 28 million pounds of potato chips you know 49 million gallons of beer you know people completely flew off the handle yesterday and then monday rolled around and they're depressed because of how poor choices that they made yesterday but the crazy thing is is that if you felt how good healthy feels it would be easier for you to have a systematic plan in place so that you wouldn't completely fall, fly off the handles. Now, don't get me wrong. You know, I had a few chips. I, I had a couple of drinks, you know, but I didn't like completely flip upside down and totally wreck my whole day because of it. You know, it was still fun to sit and watch the game with the girls. And, you know, the girls had, we had a great time. They watched the commercials. Uh, you know, honestly, not one of them stood out to me. Like one of the hits that the Pates guy took. That was insane. All right. But uh, anyway, you know, but, and here's the thing is like, why are people, why are people so afraid to make the choice to start? Well, we say the start is the st what stops most people. You know, here we are week six of the new year. The people that did start, this is when they actually stop. But how many of you raise your hand? How many of you actually never started? You actually had dreams and aspirations of starting the new year. This was going to be the new you. Uh, I'm getting fit this year. This is my time. I'm getting after it. This is what I'm doing. Then never did it. How many of you did it? I got the folks that are jumping on here. You know, what barriers came up? You know, what kept you from getting started? Was it time? Was it money? Was it your motivation? Was it your mindset? You know, people deal with all kinds of different things. You know, I've been talking a lot lately about what's your motivation, what's your accountability, what's your support structure, what barriers are going to keep you from attaining your goals. If you can't address those things, there's a reason why that you're not accomplishing your goals. You know, so going back to why be fit? Well, what's your goal? What would you like to accomplish? You folks that are on here right now, I see a few of you that are still on watching. Who's this crazy guy anyway? What's your goal? What do you want to accomplish? Drop it down below. Drop it in the comments. What are your goals that you want to accomplish? Here's the thing. Only 3% of you, only 3% of you are ever going to drop your comment down below. Only 3% of you are actually going to write your goals down on paper. All right? And there's a reason why 97% of the people don't ever accomplish their goals because they never write them down. They don't have a plan. They don't have an action. And, and they just, it never happens. All right? So why be fit though? Why be fit? Because it feels good. It feels good. I want every single one of you to feel how good healthy feels. I'm literally in the, I, I'm lighter than I, what I was when I played football and baseball in high school. And that was 25 years ago. Out of boy. What up, John? One of the 3%.
That's the truth, right? Like people aren't going to do it. Most people, they'll complain about it. They're easy to complain about it. They'll even put up uh, silly mimes and uh, gifs and whatever the, whatever we call them nowadays. You know, making excuses why they they can't accomplish. You know, because maybe it makes them feel better. Uh, I even my one of my posts yesterday about flying off the handle and you know people are uh, you know like people like making fun about like the poor choices that they're gonna make and then they're the same ones that complain about why they can't accomplish their goals. Maybe you got to change your mindset. I had that I posted a lunch with Bomb a while back about uh, you know check up from your neck up and how you uh, you handle adversity, but it starts with how you uh, you you set yourself up each day. Actually, I'll, I'll share real quick. Uh, this was my uh, my lunch with Bomb a while back. It was just it says five daily reminders, and I literally have this on my computer here at school. And what I do, and I say at the top, it says repeat these daily. And if you struggle with them, you need to repeat them louder. All right, you need to breathe a little positivity into your own head. Hopefully, I can do that for you and help motivate you. But at some point, you got to be your best coach. I always tell my players, you know, you got to get on the tee, you got to do the work, you got to hit, hit, hit. Right? You are your best coach. You know, I can give you the tools and the motivation and things to do it, but you got to go out and do it. Action. You know, it's the start that stops most people. But you know, my five daily reminders. I'm amazing. I tell myself that every single day. I'm going to bring the energy to my students. They all look at me like I'm crazy. And I say, don't worry about it. You know, I'm going to bring the energy for you. Hopefully, I can motivate you. I'm amazing. I can do anything. Uh, why, why is fit amazing? Because I can, I can do anything. I can do anything that I wanted to. All right? If I want to go run, I can go run. If I want to go swim, I can go swim. If I, I want to go, you know, I don't do some of those things just because I'm so crazy busy with all the stuff that I'm doing, the people that I'm working with, but... If I wanted to, if I wanted to go play catch with my girls, I asked the girls the other day, hey, you guys want to go to the gym and hit? Yeah, let's go to the gym and hit. You know, well, I can do those things, you know, because being fit, fit feels good, right? I'm amazing. I can do anything. Positivity is a choice. That's what I told one of my, my students. We met with a group of kids today as they're coming in, you know, is that today is a great day to have a great day. Your attitude is going to dictate your altitude. It can be boo-hoo me and why things are so bad and why I'm overweight and why I'm fat and why I got no energy, but, or, or you can change it. You know, I'm amazing. I can do anything. Positivity is a choice. I celebrate my individuality. I don't need anybody to tell me that I'm doing a good job. I don't worry about what people think of me. You know, I'm going to go out and do, I got goals. I write them down. I got specific things that I want to accomplish, you know, and if, if you don't know what to do or where to start, message me. I'll help you. All right. I sent a, I sent a workout plan to Ricardo, uh, in Brazil the other day. You know, I didn't even charge him anything for it. I says, I want to help. That's what I'm here for. Now there's things I do charge for, but you know, if you need a little pick me up, reach out, I'll help. All right. I celebrate my individuality. You know, I'm prepared to succeed. All right. So many people, why you can't succeed, succeed because you're not prepared. All right. And you got to repeat those daily. If you want, I'll take a snapshot of this. I'll message it to anybody that wants it. You know, I said, hey, shoot me that uh, five daily reminders. I'll message it to you. I'll take a snapshot of it right after I'm done here. John, what is it? I got to see what you wrote down here. It says, out of boy, just started to run. It's got a written goal, accountability partner, and a personal coach. You know, that's the crazy thing, right? Is if you don't have the support structure, you don't have a coach in place, uh, it, it, if you're just doing it on your own, that's why Johnny Aiken's in the house. What's up, buddy? You know, uh, it's, uh, it's hard to do when you don't have the support structure. It's like I get up every morning. I go to the gym. One of the kids said, hey, what time do you get up in the morning? I said, I get up at 4.15. I go to the gym. Got to, got to be at MVP before 5.30 because I got a crew coming in. 5.30, I want to get in, get set up, all the stuff going on. And uh, you got it, John. I'll send it to you, brother. Uh, you know, I, uh, because they're going to be there. Like, number one, they're counting on me to be there. But number two is I look to them for motivation just as much as they look to me for motivation. And it's that culture, right? I look at uh, when I started MVP a while back, you know, everybody says, oh, well, what's MVP stand for? Most valuable player. And honestly, MVP stands for my mission, my vision, and my passion. You know, I wanted to help aspiring people uh, attain their performance and fitness goals. You know, and I want to work with people that want to work is the thing that is motivating me to go in every single day and do the work, helping people with their nutrition, you know, helping people with their workout plans, because going back to it, why be fit? Because fit feels good. 
You know, hey, if you're looking for a little pick me up, you need a new workout plan, you need that accountability partner that John's got or whatever, and I can be that guy with my clients or team at MVP can be that group. Message me. I'm glad to help. You need to pick me up with your nutrition. We got a great nutritional plan that we've been using. You know, you need a little. You, everything starts from the inside. You know, you want to be. You can't out. You can't. You can't out exercise your fork. So if you're eating bad all the time, you know, you got to get things dialed in. You need to jump start on that part. Go ahead and message me, and I'd love to help out. But uh, I'm gonna wrap up my lunch with bomb. Like I mentioned, my Instagram was blown up, so I don't know what's going on over there. Got to restart that deal. So it was just Facebook Live today. I appreciate every one of you. Uh, hopefully, you had a great day yesterday with the Super Bowl. Got a big week ahead of us. If uh, you need a little, you need anything. I appreciate you once again. Like it and share it and uh, message me. I'll be glad to reach out. Okay, you guys have a great rest of your day.